what's up what's up we are having some fun over here demolishing some serious cubes of steel Oh, so last week we dropped a couple of videos where we're testing out the Harvey 3. Usually you see me on the low end cutting the titanium and the ink canal, but now we went on the high end, went over to 1018 steel, a thousand inches a minute, and with the half inch end mill, we were dropping 40 cubes of material per minute, which is insane. But today we're gonna step it up and we're gonna do the impossible. Boom. Oh man, we're gonna have some fun today. Today I'm gonna attempt something that I've never done before, and that is go over the 40 cube threshold. When you talk about three eighths, breaking the 40 barrier doesn't happen that often. I've actually never done it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at last week's tool path, and we're gonna try to outdo it with a smaller, less expensive tool. But I will say this, don't be fooled because this tool truly is a beast, all right? So this tool is a variation of the Harvey 3 end mill from Kenna Metal. It's a TJDE, which means it's extra special for high performance tool paths and hard metals. And it even has these little chip splitters right here. So these little notches right here that drop down the flute actually break the chips into small pieces so that they could be evacuated easily. All right, so we're gonna go out to 40 cubes with this and I honestly don't know if it's gonna make it, but that's what makes it fun, all right? So like always, I'm gonna invite you guys to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you have ideas for future videos, please put it in the comment section. You might see it in a future vlog. All right, so before we start cranking some chips, I just wanna explain MRR for those that don't know. That is your material removal rate. It's a way that we can figure out how much material is exactly being removed from the workpiece per minute, all right? The way that we calculate MRR is simply like this. The tool drops down, it engages. So it's radial times axial, and then you times that by your feed rate, and that gives you your MRR, which is your cubic inches of material removed per minute. All right, make sense? You think we can get 40? Oh, let's go get it, baby, let's go get it. So I'm gonna make a couple little changes here. I'm gonna take my RPMs from 15,000, which I did with the half inch cutters, and I'm gonna jack it up to 19,600. The reason that I'm doing that is at 15,000, you had a lot of torque right there and you had a bigger tool. The high end torque on this machine is actually down a little bit, right? So it's down closer to 10, 11,000. So the higher you go, you actually have less horsepower up there. But I don't care because I'm running a 3 8 tool. So since it's a smaller tool, I don't need as much horsepower. So the spindle speed is gonna allow me to thin out those chips. So on the half inch, I was actually going 50 thousandths for a radial depth of cut. On this guy, I'm gonna drop back since it's a smaller diameter, I'm gonna go at 41 thousandths for my radial depth of cut. The old one, I was at Z negative 0.8. This one, I'm gonna go Z negative 0.98. And if we have success, it'll put our material removal rate at 40.18. Boom, which beats last week's video with the half inch and truly shows what this little cutter right here can do.
Oh, man, that was awesome. So you guys have seen me over the years, and there's not a lot of times where my mind is blown. But honestly, stepping into this one, I was thinking this thing's going to break because I knew we were going to hit 1,000 inches per minute. It's a 3 eighths, and I just never seen a 3 eighths with that depth of cut actually hit that feed rate and be consistent across the entire part and it still looks absolutely brand new. So you don't always have to spend the big money on the big tools. These Harvey 3s, the zombie as I call them, they absolutely kill it. All right, so another test in the books. Until the next vlog, I will see you guys later. You guys be blessed, man. Boom.